So today we're going to talk about ISO and what it means for your image, as well as maybe pay a little respect to the actual digital camera that can just change ISO on the fly. All right, so the real basic thing about ISO is that it actually changes the light sensitivity of your film or your sensor. And thankfully with our new digital cameras, well, I guess you can call them new, I mean, they've been out for quite a while, but um, the ease of changing your ISO is just by switching a button rather than changing out your whole entire film roll. But uh, the main effect ISO has on your image is the light sensitivity and in today's day and age dynamic range so whenever you're changing it in Lightroom it's actually going to either cause more grain or less grain depending on the ISO you shot it at so say you shot something at 100 you're most likely going to have less grain thus a cleaner image but if you try to still you know max out your exposure even at the low ISO you're still going to have grain if you try to to go one way or the other you're possibly going to cause grain in the image shoot it at the lowest ISO possible, get the least amount of grain, unless it's something you're looking for to add as a effect or a vintage look that you're trying to go for. So whenever you're editing, you can either go with the, the lowest ISO to have the cleanest image, or you can go with the highest ISO and just try to get your uh, exposure correct and try to remove it with some sort of noise reduction. In Lightroom, this is called luminance in um, other programs it may be different I uh, may just say noise reduction uh, very plainly um, but you can also introduce grain too if you actually shoot at a lower ISO and want to have a more vintage look to it so that's a um, that's a basic understanding of ISO the uh, I mean in most use cases I would say whenever I first started shooting it was at night and it was my most available time to go and take some photos well I shot at a lower ISO and a higher shutter speed, or sorry, lower shutter speed, so I could try to get the cleanest image I could out of the night photos. And uh, for those of you that may not know, I shoot on a pretty old camera. It's a Canon T3i. Um, still get great images out of it. Mostly it's what the glass you put in front of it is what's going to come out in the end. Um, but not that I have the best glass either. The So the image quality is going to really pertain to your skill using something that can keep your camera steady in a low light situation if that's what you're going for and um, your editing at the end of the day a lot of that is what breaks down image to either being great or being just okay but yeah that's uh that's a basic understanding of iso i feel like that about covers uh, what it's used for uh, if you have any questions about maybe if you have some problems with images um, you know, if you're shooting at, uh, you know, what you think is a low ISO and you're still getting problems out of grain or you're having other problems just in general with editing, um, just leave them in the comments below. I would love to be able to comment back and um, maybe start a conversation on Instagram with me over the uh, message feature. Or, um, I don't know, I think it's about, it's about all the ways you can get a hold of me unless you want to get on Facebook. So, um, anyway... I hope you all have a great day. Uh, I'm going to try and go out and take photos in the snow, even though it, I think it, did it stop? I think, I think it may have stopped. Yeah, I think, I think it stopped. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, because I'm going to do this weekly now. I've got a schedule planned out finally to make this to where I can do it a every week thing. And I finally understood how to do B-roll a little bit better. So that way I can feel a little bit better about the stuff I put out and not just being a talking head right here. But uh, if you have any questions about gear or anything like that, uh, I will be doing some more videos on those. Something that's cheaper, because I'm trying to go with the cheapest possible. This is actually, I uh, probably should have said this in the intro, but my entire goal for this channel is to shoot something that's either old or cheap, uh, use free editing or very cheap editing software, which Lightroom, I think, Lightroom 5, you can probably pick up for maybe even less than 100 bucks nowadays, um, using GIMP uh, to do photo manipulation and Kden Live for video uh, editing. Get into those at some point, maybe once I understand Kden Live a little better. I was using Adobe, Adobe Premiere before this, but uh, I am not going to pay the uh, subscription fee for that. And uh, I'm just gonna keep going with what I've got. And um, 
I think that about covers it. Uh, did ramble a little bit at the end here, but <laughs> I hope it's something you guys look forward to. I would like to be able to show people that they can do photos and do pretty decent video work with free programs. And uh, anyway, well, I'll see you next time and watch out for Instagram posts and uh, come follow me there. It'll all be in this description down below. And um, that's about it, man. Hope you all have a great one. See you next time.